If you have a gadget lover on your gift list, check out these unusual gadgets and see if you can guess what they are and what they do. We check in with Steve Greenberg. So do you have any idea what this mystery gadget is? Well, that's what we're gonna try and figure out in this edition of What the Heck Is That? The New Gadget Game Show. And we've got some panelists to try and figure it out and let's meet them. Hmm. What the heck Hello. is that? Hi, what the heck is that? That's why it's called, what the heck is that? Yeah. This is a gadget, I'm gonna give you a little hint because I'm allowed to do that. This is a string that's attached to it, but it's actually part of it. So it's a critical part of it, I should say. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna tip it this way, tip it this way, this way, and Moss, Yes. Why don't you go first and give me a yes or no question that might reveal the identity of this mystery gadget. <laughs> is it is it meant for someone under the age of 10? No, in fact, I would say it shouldn't be given to kids. This is for someone who is a high teenager or above. I would say it's really a grown up gadget. Good question though. Uh, Adam, you're next. It, does it staple things? It looks like a stapler. <laughs> it is not a stapler, has no staples. And by the way, no electronics involved in this. There's no batteries or anything like that. This is a purely uh, non-electrical device. Sid, it's your turn. What's your question? Is it used for construction? No, it's not used for construction. Okay, Risa, the pressure's on you. Um, does it move other than, like, does it close or? I can show you that to help out, especially if it's a bridge diversion. It opens and magnetically closes. Magnetic. Oh, well, that makes, that's very interesting. And it magnetically closes. And don't forget this cord. Yeah, the string is what's throwing me off. Oh, the string is um, super important to it. Okay. And I've used this. I've used this many times, and it's pretty good at what it does. Okay. okay. We have one question each. Yes. I don't think we have time for a follow-up, sadly. So you're going to have to make your guesses. Moss? Okay. It is something have? that you take your beer can and you put it in there and you have the string to put it in the very cold water. No, it might actually work for that, but no, it is not designed <laughs> for keeping your beer can cold in cold water. But good guess, good guess. Okay, Adam. I'm gonna, I got nothing. I'm gonna guess it's a paperweight. It's not, <laughs> not a paperweight. Highly functional, highly functional. I got no idea. Yeah. Sid, what's your guess? I'm gonna guess it has something to do with cars, car repair. Nope. No yeah. It's used around the house. It's used around the house. Okay, Risa. Okay, well. Here. What do you think? Well, the fact that it's magnetic, I, I'm on, I like what Moss said about like it's connecting to something and pulling something. So I would think you use it to to grab onto, it's like a claw, like you put it on something and pull it. So I would say like, let's say you have to clean out your dryer vent of, of something in there and you pull it out. No, but I know that gadget. I have that gadget. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not that gadget. All right. Okay. What the heck is we that? Pull, throw over all the cards. So this is a window washing device. Uh. You open it up like this. One side goes on one side of the mirror on the window. Excuse me. The other side goes on the outside. You hold on to this. So if you lose the magnetic grip it, and it falls, you can still pull it back in, especially if you're working in a high rise, which is how I'm working on it. And this part, this little safety part comes off. So it's really like this. And it's, when it does connect, it's pretty powerful. So you wouldn't want a child to play with it. Starts at about $45 at the grommet. And it does, does, does work. It has, it's both a squeegee, and then it also comes with these cloths so you can first wash it down and then, and then squeegee it and kind of buff it off. And it does work, especially if you're living in a high rise, you can't get to that outside window. This will do it for you. So you did a good try. 
Wow. I, I didn't. That's great. But that's, that's crazy. crazy. Free gadget. Your viewers need to know, I have a whole bunch of these segments on, go to GadgetGameShow.com. GadgetGameShow.com takes you to the YouTube channel. You can see they're all about 10, 15 minutes long. I've got a couple of guest stars in there. Judy Gold, the comedian, is one of our judges. Check it out, GadgetGameShow.com. And you too can play along as we try to guess the mystery gadget. You can find all the products Steve Greenberg talks about on his website, stevegreenberg.tv. Just click on Steve's blog to play What the Heck Is That? The Gadget Game Show with Steve on his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash what the heck is that?